Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. That's right, Gen X Reaction. And what are we going to do today? We're going to react to the reviews of Shark Shark. <laughs> now Slopes reviewed Shark Shark in the beginning and I think he was rather fair. He said that, uh, you know, it really shined in multiplayer. So let's see what the everyday Joe playing on Steam has to say regarding this game. Let's look at some of these reviews and let's see if you agree or disagree. All right, first we have Larry Archer, and he says, on PC, Steam controller, cheap wired logic tech controller, as well as Bluetooth keyboard all worked at the same time. I'm a big fan of couch co-op, and as far as that goes, I enjoyed this game. My neighbor and myself played several different modes, and we had a blast. Recommended. They played for four and a half hours. I guess that's, you know, it's important how much they played too, right? Okay, and here we have the next one by Cybok. Okay, I used to love playing the old Shockwave game, something fishy back in the day, and I was looking for something to scratch that itch. And this is it. High score, mo high score mode is the way to go. Just keep growing and surviving as long as you can. Recommended. There's a total of nine, so, so this is the third one positive one and it's by Freddy four hours the previous gentleman by the way had four almost five hours in he has four hours I've been waiting to play this game since the announcement on the Amigo Shark Shark is a fun game where you need to eat and act fast to survive I do hope they will release some DLC with new maps and levels the game is short in terms of the voyage campaign multiplayer seems local only unless you play high score okay four hours now this gentleman gentleman only played uh, 1.1 hours and it's the catholic and ferret again he played um he also reviewed uh the other game <laughs> astro smash <coughs> let's see here fun game with simple simple controls and str strangely relaxing campaign is a bit short but this is really a multiplayer game. Dang Shark is a pain and it seems to appear a lot more than in the original question mark. Recommended, especially if on sale. I would agree. I would agree, even though he only played it for 1.1 hours. Oh, first negative one here. 17 found this review helpful and it's a lot longer than the rest. And it's a no swear gamer. Okay. Let's see here. He played it for 1.7 hours on record. As a fan of the original, I was looking forward to trying this out, but sadly, it did not offer enough to justify its current $14.99 price, in my opinion. I was able to finish the main game, voyage mode, in just over 30 minutes. That includes continuing once. I tried two separate occasions on release date to play online, but couldn't find anyone online to play with. <laughs> The testers weren't there online? Wow. you think the employees would be there online, you know, trying to bring people in. <laughs> oh, but they're not getting paid, so I... <laughs> Nobody's going to show up. <clears throat> the original classic and television game is not included, which is a bummer. I agree. All these games should have the older game included. I mean, in television, come on. It also has some other issues I'll include below. On the plus side, it controls well with an analog joystick, and I did get a little enjoyment out of it, enough that I could potentially recommend it to fans of the original game if it was under $5. But for the price, I'd say pass. Pros. Controls well. I like some of the characters, including the sharks. Does offer some of the classic Shark Shark gameplay. Enjoyable high score mode with cross-platform online leaderboards, although I could only see the top six for each of the three selectable levels. Cons. Short main game. Took less than 35 minutes to complete. Original classic television game not included. No one online on release day. I tried twice to play an online game. Online mode, online mode doesn't offer an easy way to see if people are online or how to connect to them. 
The dart move on the original has been removed. Your fish gets slower and feels sluggish as he gets bigger. High score needs more of a single player option and currently allows other players to play along, potentially assist uh, a player to which could lead to unfair advantages. I think that's... So that would be about it. Uh, I think so. <clears throat> Let's see here. Da, 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 yeah. The background doesn't blend well with the foreground, so it doesn't feel like you're really in that environment. Some scaling issues, like the jellyfish, large sharks, on the pelican who could swallow the shark's hole. Okay. Was this helpful? Yes, it was helpful. All right, cool. Comments are disabled for this review. Hmm. I should allow comments, I think, for that review. Uh, all right. Here's another one. Recommended. 5.4 hours. Okay. Very fun game to play with family and friends. This one is one of those few games that allow up to four-player couch co-op on Steam. The game definitely has hours of fun and enjoyment to it. And this is by, from Master Magaku. Right. If you're playing alone, there might not be a lot after you complete the voyage mode. The only thing you can really do after that is to try your luck in high score mode. Other than that, it is just back to voyage mode, which lasts 30, 35 minutes. Okay, so now, you know, that's more than one testimony. We have th this guy and the No Swear Game are saying the same. So you're basically playing, geez. Two dollars, <laughs> fifty cents a minute. <laughs> yeah, fifty cents a minute uh, is what they want here. Let's see here. The controls are nice, but I can't help to think it would have been better with the Amico controller. I agree, and Tommy Tallarico agrees. Right? You can only play it with the original, which would make um, sense because it was originally an ex an Amico exclusive game. Don't get me wrong, you still will have fun with an Xbox, PlayStation, Steam, or Switch gamepad. But you can just tell with long play, though it was meant to be played with an Amico controller in mind. Overall, great game, and always fun to boot up when you are bored and want to pass some time. Okay. Another negative review, this was on October 1st. 18 people found this helpful. I'm a fan of the original Shark Shark on the television, so I figured I would give this a try. It's very generic and uninspired. I feel like it needs another six months of polish. I booted it up on my Steam Deck, and I've docked and couldn't figure out how to get into the game. Let's see. This is uh, Jay Darkseed. This is another gentleman who's having issues while playing it on the Steam Deck. Remember on Astro Smash, we had the same issue with another gentleman. Let's see here. Uh, I could have figured out I'd get into the game on voyage mode. No big deal. At least it works with the current supported Proton out of the box. Then I tried on my PC. I use a controller with games like this. I couldn't figure out how to get into the game. After pushing what seems random keys, I'm in. I was hit with a generic Mexican restaurant sounding music. What is the generic? Oh, there is no banda in this. There's no corridos in this. Come on, dude. <laughs> there, I guarantee you there is no original Mexican music in this. Maybe it sounds like that to you. But, <laughs> but uh, I don't think that's Tommy's specialty. <clears throat> I heard an industry legend worked on this. So I was very disappointed. <laughs> okay, I see. I see. Okay, I know where you're coming from now. Uh -huh. You're not a fan of the beloved leader. Look, he's having a hard time right now. His company's been stripped away from him. He's been betrayed by one John Alvarado and one Phil Adam. And now he's just sitting on the sidelines and, and uh, we're not able to play the game the way it was meant to be played, sir. So, you know, until you play it with an Amico controller, which is not available only to a certain few, you're not going to get the full depth of this game. <laughs> I play on M uh, MSI laptop connected to a 166 hertz display. It should be the bomb. 
also the biggest annoying thing here is no dash that's true that's one more than one person that mentioned that and I could see especially as you get larger how that could be an issue away from the shark that was the most fun thing on an original because you could bully the shark later and keep flipping around trying him to bite trying to bite you I didn't get a chance to try the online play but it seemed like no one is playing anyway from what I could tell that is true and we have more more than one testimony to that I can recommend this game maybe shark shark 2 will be more thought out maybe or maybe they make some DLC all right, uh, you know, I think it's a it's a great game for $4.99. I don't know about $15, but uh, you guys aside, <laughs> have a great one. Take care.